Hey, welcome back, friends, to the Castro Valley News live show. I'm eight minutes late. I apologize. Uh, good evening, Cali Life. Cali Life is always first in the roll call. Uh, I apologize. Facebook was having made a Facebook was having excessive issues letting me go live. So, um, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. This is a show we do uh, Saturdays and Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Saturdays, <laughs> uh, from seven to eight p.m. Um, roll call. We're right in the roll call. Uh, good evening to, again, good evening to Cali Life. Cali Life is always first in the roll call. And also, uh, good evening to Mark. And good evening to Teresa. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. And again, I apologize for being tardy. Moderator is in the house. Uh, Teresa says, good evening, Roberto, Mom, and Hank. And Dennis just sent... 50 stars. Dennis said, nice shirt. Thank you, sir. Dennis just sent 50 stars. Dennis has sent stars 15 weeks in a row. Thank you, Dennis. I'm going to give the spiel very <laughs> sparsely tonight. There is an icon you can click right here. You can purchase stars. Send them to your favorite live content creators, which is hopefully Castavelli News. And uh, uh, Michael says, I'm not going to say this. I did not message you not saying you're late. Michael, thank you. I was actually watching the messages because I thought maybe you would. But uh, Michael, I love you and thank you for uh, joining us. Tiffany is in the house. Good evening, Tiffany. Paulette is in the house. Welcome to the show. Tiffany just sent 100 stars. And Tiffany has sent stars 16 weeks in a row. Tiffany is the queen of stars. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Uh, Paulette just sent 500 stars, and there's a cool little lantern icon. That's new. Awesome. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you for joining us. Paulette sent 500 stars. Paulette has sent stars 14 weeks in a row. Kathy is in a house. Welcome to the show, Kathy. Kathy just sent 200 stars. I will give you, I will finalize my spiel about uh, the stars. There's an icon you can click right here. You purchase stars. You send them to your favorite live content creators on Facebook. Hopefully that's Castrovelli News. And good evening, Ross. And the cool thing is that money goes directly to the live content creator of your choice. There is a sliver, a smidge, a fraction, a teeny tiny, incy beansy, small amount that goes to Meta, but the lion's share goes to us. I need to catch my breath. Also in the roll call is my mom. Mom says, hi, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the wonderful weather. Yes, we are having a little bit of a uh, uh, summer in spring, a springery summery. A springery, a summery spring. There you go. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, Ross, good evening. Welcome to the show. Ross tagged Deanna. If you are just tuning in, my name is Roberto. This is the Castrovelli News live show. We do this Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m. We talk about things that are ha on our minds, the things that are happening in the community, things that are happening in the nation, things that are happening uh, in our backyard, in uh, the neighborhood, just stuff that's on our mind. It's a cool way for us to all gather together and uh, kind of be kind of a virtual family. And I love it. Um. Paulette says, hi, mom. Ross is saying, hi, mom. Maureen is in the house. Welcome to the show, Maureen. Kathy likes the, the colors on my shirt. It's, a, it's mostly white, but it's a cool tie-dye thing that um, I, I found the shirt and washed it, and it feels great. Um, Mark says, hi, mom and Hank. Hank is riding the couch behind me. Love that guy. Uh, Michael says, hurt my back yesterday when I tried to lift your toolbox. That's... Mike, I hope you're doing well. You got to got to you got to stretch. You got to stretch out the muscles before you exert them. Michael, I hope you are on the mend and I hope you get better soon. One more time, the stars thing, there's an icon here you can click. You purchase stars of any amount, any denomination. And the cool thing is Meta allows you to purchase those stars, send that money to your lot favorite live content creator on Facebook. Hopefully it's Castavelli News or whichever live content creator you like and um the money goes to the content live content creator of your choice uh mark likes the shirt too um 
Thank you, Mark. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Uh, Maureen, who won uh, Tuesday's Midway giveaway, just sent 100 stars. Thank you so much, Maureen. Maureen has sent stars two weeks in a row. Yes, the stars thing is super cool, guys. It came to a surprise. It was a complete surprise to me when, uh, there you go, Polly is tagging Austin, Rick, Michelle, and Schnickelis. Thank you for tagging so many folks, Paulette. And uh, I need to text Don back because he asked me if we were live, and we are, and I apologize. Kathy just sent 50 stars. Kathy, thank you so much. So I just tagged Don because he was wondering if we were live. And I apologize. That was I think that was the latest I've ever been for a show. And Ross just tagged uh, sent a tag to Schnickelis. Thank you for tagging people, Ross. So yes, guys, uh, ladies, gentlemen, uh, kids of all ages, we usually start the show off with uh, the roll call, which is if you're listening and you want a shout out, you just post up a comment and you get a shout out. And I'm so glad I did not forget my mom in the roll call because I do that... Um, Sometimes, <laughs> more often than I would like to uh, admit to. So, good evening, Mom. I love you. Teresa is in the house. Teresa just sent 50 stars. Teresa has sent stars uh, seven weeks in a row. Thank you, Teresa. You are awesome, and I'm glad you joined us for the show. Um, i just make sure I didn't miss any comments. Um. Yes, our, our moderator is in the house. Moderator says, super great to be here tonight. Thank you for joining us. Again, one more time, my name is Roberto. This is the Castrovelli News live show. We do this We do this thing Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Dennis is tagging Sherry. Thank you so much. Um, Kathy says, Tiffany, Aaron, and I are going to Mexico in June. Wish us luck. Good luck to you. Um, I hope you get some internet service out there and you can you can tune in uh, from Mexico and let us know how things are going. Uh, Michael says, so on Tuesday's show, I asked the show many times I was dunked. The only person that came close, which was eight, I was dunked. I was not dunked eight times. I will tell I was dunked 12 times. Yes, Michael, you were dunked 12 times. And, and tip of the cap, a salute to you, Michael. Uh, Michael was dunked in the water tank. He was doing a fundraiser for um, local uh, uh, Little League baseball team. Donna is in the house. Welcome to the show, Donna. I have not seen you for a long time. I hope you're doing well. I think the last time I saw you, Donna, was at Pizza Ace Hardware. And um, that was a minute ago. So I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the show. Uh, Donna, is this, is this your first time uh, on the show, listening to the show? No, you've been here before. It's just been a minute. But Donna, I am glad you joined us again. Uh, let's move on from the roll call to something else. I want to let you guys know we just posted this to the page today. And again, a uh, friendly reminder, if you are listening and you want a shout out, just post up a comment. I will give you a shout out by your first name only. I respect folks privacy and not mentioning their last name but it's a cool thing that we do here on the show uh, uh we have a family of regulars and um we just love uh giving shout outs to lo uh people who are listening uh yes donna is doing fine i'm glad to hear that and uh, donna tuned into the show a long time ago and I, re I remember that it's been a minute but i'm glad again donna i'm glad you joined us again eileen is in the house Welcome back to the show, Eileen. Good to see you and have you here. Uh, Michael is throwing in the gauntlet and he's saying he's going to mid win the Midway giveaway tonight. Michael, I hope you do. Gary is in the house. Welcome to the show, Gary. It's good to see you again. Uh, Jean is in the house. Uh, Jean says, hi, all. Uh, hello, Roberto, Mom, and Hank. Hello, Just Jean. I hope you're doing well. Eileen just sent 100 stars. Eileen has sent stars 14 weeks in a row. Thank you so much, Eileen. I appreciate your support so much. I appreciate just that you're 
watching the show and sending stars is just a cherry on top of the cake. Thank you so much. Um, just posted this earlier today, and it was something that the folks, the owners at uh, Pompous, Pompous, Pompous. I, I want to make sure I pronounce it right. I believe it's Pompous. They are uh, P A M P A S. Uh, they're wonderful folks. The, we did a restaurant review with Chef Igor. I'm going to ask our moderator to find the link to that wonderful review that Chef Igor did at Pampas. Uh, they're an empanada coffee company. They are located on Castro Valley Boulevard. They are the little business that's right in, cr- in front of where Crayons was. And they posted today that they are coming soon to the small storefront directly next to Trader Joe's. It's actually attached to that building. It's attached to the building of Trader Joe's. Um, uh, Was Small Town Society. Um, I'm not sure if Small Town has closed. I'm not sure if they are going to close. And more (laughs) not sure of uh, items are, I'm not sure if Pompous is moving or opening a second location because uh good evening jacob welcome to the show jacob says can't wait it's closer to his house there you go uh but pompous is either opening a second location or moving to the little storefront that's directly to it's attached to trader joe's i want to say it's next door to it uh, but it's the same building as Trader Joe's. Uh, it was Small Town Society. I'm hoping Small Town's not going to be closing because it's such a good and cool uh, community resource. Uh, maybe they're just opening a, like a little coffee kiosk there. But the folks with Pompas mentioned uh, that they're still considering clo- moving all together or just having a second location. And... Um, I'm hoping our moderator can find uh, the the review that Chef Igor did at Pompas. They're they're good. They got great stuff. They do empanadas. They do great coffee. There you go. Just as I spoke, the wonderful, delightful, talented, knowledgeable Chef Igor. His wonderful review at Pompas. And um, there you go. That's that's that news. A wonderful locally owned business. Hopefully they're expanding and they'll have maybe two locations. Uh, but if they're moving. Uh, that's just as good because they'll they'll get a ton of foot traffic next to Trader Joe's. I could only imagine. Bob is in the house. Welcome to the show, sir, my friend. You are a scholar. You are a, a gentleman. And Bob is... Excuse me. My mom knows what I just did. <laughs> Bob is at the Shark Tank. Give us a score, Bob, if you can. Oh, Barbara is in the house. Welcome to the show, Barbara. Uh, Barbara says, hello, Roberto and Castro Valley News family. Barbara, I am pleased as I can be that you have joined us. Thank you so much. And Bob, definitely give us a a score from the Shark Tank in uh, San Jose. Janella is in the house. Welcome to the show, Janella. I am so glad you can join us. Janella just sent 200 stars. Janella has sent stars 14 weeks in a row. And I'm going to give a super, super huge shout out to Janella. Barbara just sent 500 stars. Barbara has sent stars four weeks in a row. Dennis just tagged Karen. I want to give you some airtime, Janella. Janella bought an ad in our new magazine right here. Janella Anguiano is with Century 21. They are on Redwood Road. Find Janella now if you have real estate questions, real estate needs. Ross says, hello, Janella. And also, this is our Castrovelli News Magazine. I've been around town and these things disappeared fast. I don't think there's any locations that have any more in stock. But again, I wanted to thank Janella during the show for purchasing an ad in our magazine. Janella, you are awesome. Again, Janella is with Century 21 Real Estate on Redwood Road. Um, it is, I'm trying to think, it's 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 the old Republic Title Building, I think. Um, 
But think of across the street from the farmer's market, there's a building right there. There's the waterfall out front. That's where Janella is. She's a super awesome person. She does a ton of stuff behind the scenes, raising money and awareness for the Chamber of Commerce, for Rotary, you name it, Janella does it. And she's a, she's just an awesome person too. So thank you, Janella. You are, Janella, you are appreciated. So uh, yes, Pompous is either moving or adding a second location next to Trader Joe's. Uh, uh, the, the new location is five twos Redwood Road. That is two, 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 two Redwood Road. Used to be maybe still a small town society. Before that, it was uh, Dolphin Graphics. So there's that. Uh, Pompous is moving. Janella says hello to Ross. And Janella says thank you so much, Ross. Um, Dennis is tagging Chuck. Uh, I, I hope we didn't lose Don, because Don texted me while I was having technical difficulties, and I couldn't, I could not log in. <laughs> Trying to do the live stream, I could not log in. Facebook was just bouncing me out and bouncing me out. And, um, wow, we're only 16. Ross says we owe you two dimes hmm. to make a phone call. Isn't a phone call like 50 cents now? I'm so out of the loop. Ross, explain. I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued by your comment. Um, Dennis is tagging. Yes, Dennis. Dennis tagged Karen. I apologize. I'm, I'm repeating myself there. Again, if you're just joining us, my name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show, the show that we do Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m., uh, only when I am super, super late. And there you go. Our moderator just posted up the link to... Um, actually, moderator, that is the wrong link for Janella. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to hide that because that's actually the wrong link for Janella. Yeah, Michael's giving a shout out. Don, where are you at? Where are you at, Don? Should I text Don? I'll text Don again. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to text. In the meantime, Lori is in the house. Lori just sent 500 stars. Thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate you joining us and welcome to the show. Uh, okay, Ross says we owe Janella 20 cents. It, she will know. So it's an inside joke between Ross and Janella. So, okay, thank you for the explanation. Whoa, I just did that. <laughs> Holy moly. Thank you again, Lori, for the 500 stars. I appreciate that. Hey, Christy, hope you're doing well. And that's a reminder that Maureen won the midway previous to Christy winning Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I just completely got those two crossed. And uh, yes, Lori just sent uh, the icon for the high five. Uh, Michael says, yes, text Don and tell him I throw him a change for the midway, a challenge for the midway giveaway. There you go. I got gotcha. you. Somebody just sent stars. Uh, Christy, Christy just sent 194 stars. Christy, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And again, the stars thing, it's here. You click the link, you purchase stars, you send them. It's a cool way for you to send monetary love to your favorite live content creators on Facebook. Hopefully it's Castor Valley News. If not, it's okay. If another person strikes your fancy, that's all good. Uh, but the cool thing is there's a smidge that goes to Meta Facebook. The majority of your stars purchase money goes to the live content creator of your choice. Thank you so much, Christy. You are awesome. Thank you to everyone who has, who has and does send stars. Uh, thank you to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tiffany's got the crown. Tiffany's been doing it 16 weeks, and um, uh, 
she's got the sash, the crown, the the scepter. She's the queen of sending stars. Thank you, Tiffany. You're awesome. And Tiffany, is is Aaron in the house? Because I haven't seen Aaron in the roll call, and I'm just kind of curious. And while we're talking about everything that's going on, um, Michael is challenging Don to the Midway giveaway. Uh, Ross says, is it just the sunlight and time change or did you paint your doors? Inquiring minds here want to know. Uh, they've The doors have been red for uh, ever since, uh, as long as I can remember, um the tape coming off and us doing video so these <laughs> it's not a nancy sinatra song but these these doors have been read forever um and these boots were not made for walking anyways sorry about that terrible horrible somewhat my mom is groaning somewhere a terrible joke anyways guys um why don't we oh it's still not time for the midway giveaway i'm late so it is not time for the Midway giveaway. I am going to do some improv here. And I'm going to share this with you guys because it's super cool. I found this. If you can see this, this is uh, it's from Paisanos. I shared this. Uh, it was shared on the Castro Valley uh, history page, which we also admin. We also admin the Beauty of Castro Valley California page, which are ways for different content to be shared in different venues that may not be Castro Valley news specific. But there's a lot of cross sharing and and cross promotion. At any rate, without any further uh, belaboring, this wonderful cool card uh, from Paisanos pizzeria used to be don is in the house welcome to the show don don i need to let you know michael is challenging you to the midway giveaway he is he is determined he is certain he is going to win and you are not and uh michael just said hi don so again i wanted to share this cool cool uh Donna says she has some old ones. It was red. Uh, this is a Paisano's card. Uh, I keep showing you the front, but I want to show you the back. And I wish I could redeem this. It's actually uh, it's good for one free mini pizza. Uh, dated 1998. I don't know. I want to make sure the camera gets this. There you go. This card is good for one free mini pizza from good old Paisano's. Super cool. I love I love finding old cool stuff like this. It just it just makes my day to see something that's that's just kind of a a little s smidge slice of our history here. Um, Don is saying hello to Michael. Barbara is just giving a shout out to Don. Michael is saying Don is in the house. Uh, Maureen says she misses Paisanos. Yes, I do too. Uh, I miss. I was talking to a wonderful, lovely, amazing friend the other day, and I was just kind of recalling the the ascent of Tony Gemignani. Uh, Paulette has given a huge shout out to Don. <laughs> um, Maureen says she misses Paisanos. Uh, Ross says Don is here. Let's start the show. There you go. Uh, Don gave a shout out to Barbara, but I wanted to. I just wanted to mention because I, I I used to work with the. Um, Don is saying, what's up, party people? Welcome to the show, Don. Don, I love you. You're awesome. Um, I just wanted to like travel down memory lane because I remember meeting Tony before he won the first World Pizza Acrobat thing. And I just wanted to like sincerely remember Tony as just... Uh, Tony... Ha was always is always always has been in every conversation that I had with him and he he would come by the Castro Valley Forum office numerous times when I was there he's just a humble cool guy just a just genuinely likable humble not full of himself not arrogant um and and he just he did so much stuff for the community behind the scenes and did not ask or want credit for it um they sponsored a ton of uh, little league teams and was always donating um, 
gift cards like these. This was probably a donation to some team somewhere. Um, but Tony, Tony was just an awesome guy. And uh, his success now, which is immense, is super well-deserved because he's just, he was just always a humble, kind, and generous guy. And um, I wish him the very best. I wish him um, extreme, <laughs> extreme. Uh, I wish him continued success in everything he does. He, recently, uh, within the past few, uh, Donna says, Tony still is, hasn't changed. I'm glad to hear that. I did talk to him um, via email because we had him on pay. We did a, a, a little interview with him for one of our past magazines, and um, he was gracious enough to to do that and 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 he's just he's just a top-notch guy and um i'm glad to hear from donna that he still is nice and humble and hasn't changed uh bob says i like tony slice house slice house in san leandro but parking is an issue i agree they are located in the same uh kind of driveway uh cut cut out (laughs) as uh the englander is and um, I hear nothing but good stuff about Slice House. Um, I hope to check them out sometime soon. But yes, like other folks have mentioned, I really wish I could redeem this at uh, at Paisano's. Good folks. And um, there was something else I wanted to mention about Tony. Yes, uh, he opened a bakery. A bagel shop in San Francisco somewhat recently and from what I've seen on social media it's extremely successful it's doing great uh, another location that I definitely want to check out uh, because I love I love bread I love bagels and um, if it seems like Tony's just got that magic touch that everything he touches turns to gold and um, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Michael says, Tony has opened many new places in San Francisco and has done some live shows from his, from his page with his son. That's cool. Um, so it sounds like Tony is, is passing his talents on to his son. Um, there you go. Donna says he's in Italy as you, as we speak, as I speak. Um, the coolest thing that I, I remember when Tony won his first, uh, it's, I think it's pizza, pizza, pizza Lolo. I think that's how it's pronounced. I apologize if I said that wrong, but the world pizza championship, he, he beat the Italians on their home ground. He's Italian. I'm half Italian. So there, there you go. I, uh, uh, Don, Don's got some inside information. Uh, Bob says, how do you toss a bagel? And basically the same way you toss a football, Bob. Bad joke. <laughs> um, I think it's just a bakery thing. So he's not doing he's not doing the toss thing. He's just doing the bakery thing, similar to um, making dough for pizza. Um, Tony just likes to cook, and he's super talented at it. Um, Don says, I told Tony about the El Rancho Steakhouse building. He said possible. Funny thing that you mentioned that, Don, is the last, the interview that I did with Tony, um, the main question that I wanted to ask him was, would you ever come back to Castro Valley? And he said, absolutely. Um, Tony was actually looking at the old Caro's, which is now Denica's, and he was this close to getting it. I think he was distracted with another business, and Denica's came in and signed the contract. So um, we were so close to Tony Gemignani coming back to Castro Valley at the former Caro's location, now Denica's. Nothing against Denica's. They are wonderful people. Um, Denica is a sweetheart. Her daughter is amazing. Her husband is wonderful. As you already know, their cookies and their pastries and their breakfasts are delicious. But uh, Tony Gemignani was that close to coming back to Castro Valley when Caro's closed um, on Castro Valley Boulevard. And with that said, I think I'm going to change the Midway giveaway question to be somewhat relatable to that location. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And we're, we're super close 
to the Midway giveaway. Uh, Gary says, I wonder if he ever shows up at Slice House when he is not in Italy. Uh, I believe he is intermittently at Slice House and also at his other locations, which he has so many of them. Uh, Juliana has some... Juliana's going to spill the tea here. Uh, Juliana says, I believe... El Rancho will be a Chinese restaurant. It just got sold, if I'm not mistaken. Juliana, I think you're probably right because I've been circling El Rancho and the for sale sign is down. So uh, someone leased it. Um, So there you go. Thank you, Juliana, for spilling the tea on that. I appreciate that. Um, Lori says, I would have rather had Tony over Denica's. Uh, I love Denica's. I love their... um, like I said, I love the family. They're super, super sweet. Um, but I, 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 we, it would have been, <laughs> I'm stammering because I'm so excited. It would have been so freaking awesome to have Tony back in Castro Valley. I hope it happens. Uh, Mark says, uh, at Lori, I agree too. Don says he said possibly. That's the same thing he told me. He would love to um, come back, to return to Castro Valley at some point. And um, obviously, we would love to have him back too. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, let's do the Midway giveaway here. And... I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking at a comment here. Okay. I would be remiss in my duties not letting you know that the Midway giveaway tonight is sponsored by none other than Jose Cervantes. And attention, do you want to be on TV? Are you thinking of selling your real estate this year? Jose Cervantes, a realtor with Coldwell Banker here in Castro Valley, is looking for properties to showcase on their exclusive TV show, aired every Sunday on ABC Channel 7 at 4 p.m. Is your property in need of repair? Short of cash? Jose has you covered, introducing Real Vitalize to help you get top dollar. Maximize the selling price and sell your home faster with no payment until closing. Easy and hassle-free. Access up to $50,000 through their Real Vitalize program powered by Home Advisor. The program is an exclusive offering for Coldwell Banker Realty clients that helps with home improvements and repairs to prep your home for sale and to appear on television. They cover all your upfront costs and they get paid back only when your home sells. There are no hidden fees, friends, interest charges, or markups. There you go. Jose Cervantes is in Castro Valley. Eric Anderson, thank you for the 50 stars. Welcome to the show. Jose Cervantes is located at 21060 Redwood Road, Suite 100. I'll give you that one more time. Jose is located at 21060 Redwood Road, Suite 100. That's in Castro Valley, friends. 510485. 3893. I'll give you that one more time. 510 4853 Thank you, Jose, for sponsoring the Midway giveaway. Uh, Eileen says, Tony taught my granddaughters to taught toss pizza they always talk about those nights eileen thank you for reminding me that because tony would just come in and announce i'm going to teach kids how to toss pizza and the line would be around the block as you can imagine and it was a ton of fun i think they did it in the parking lot and inside i can't again i'm going to circle back and say just how genuinely awesome Tony always was and has been and obviously still is from what folks are saying in the comments. Tony, come back. Uh, (laughs) That's almost a player song. Baby, come back. Tony, come back. You can blame it all on me. Now I'm singing. How horrible. How horrible. I apologize. I just shamed myself. Thank you again, Jose, for sponsoring the Midway Giveaway. If you are a business owner and you have a local business and you would like to sponsor the Midway Giveaway, shoot me an inbox message and uh, we'll make that happen for you. Um, The gift certificates I purchased myself. 
Um, if you want to sponsor the Midway giveaway, we can do that. You can choose the business that you would like me to get a gift certificate from. We can do that. The options are up to you. Feel free to blue sky and be creative. I love that stuff. Um, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, oh, I'm channeling. <laughs> I'm channeling. Uh, I channel David Letterman a lot during the show, don't I? I throw the paper. I say, lady, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, like he used to do. Uh, anyways, I'm five minutes late and I apologize. And somebody's sending stars, so I need to acknowledge uh, acknowledge the stars. Schnickelis just sent 50 stars. Thank you, Schnickelis. I appreciate that. Um, Meredith. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You know that. Meredith just sent 50 stars. Meredith has sent stars three weeks in a row. Thank you, Meredith. I appreciate you, but you know that already. Um, Maureen is at the sports desk now. Maureen says, Warriors just pulled ahead of the Jazz. 105-103. Go Warriors. Tonight's Midway giveaway is a fantastic $20 to uh, Rosa and Gustavo at Portales. If you've never been to Portales, go now. Even if you don't win this, go now to Portales, Portales immediately. I love Rosa. I love Gustavo. They are amazing people. Um, the food is wonderful. The food is popular. And the owners are... Rosa and Gustavo are just sweet, 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 sweet people. Amazing, wonderful people, folks. Oh, Donna's asking me to flip, to flick the gift card. This is paper, so I might tear it apart, but this is for you, Don. I love you. Flicking the gift card. $20 to Portales. With that said, uh, I'm not going to change the Midway giveaway um, question because this one's cool. I don't think <laughs> uh, Ross says he loves Rosa. Michael says, don't rip the paper. <laughs> uh, the Midway giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, text your answer to 510-331-9112 or post in the comments wherever the thread is. It's just, you can do either. But the first person to provide the first, the first person to provide the correct answer wins $20 portales wonderful locally owned business with that said 510-331-9112 or text it or post in the comments uh bob is at the sports desk sharks won dallas won two minutes to go in the first period that is your shark score thank you bob let me gather myself here <laughs> ross is already guessing mugs <laughs> you know, you know, the sh your show, the whatever show you do has to be awesome when people are guessing before the question is even tossed out there. I I love you guys. I love I love the new the, the CBN live family we have here. It's so many amazing, awesome personalities and smart folks. And Aaron, if you're out there lurking and you're just laying low. <laughs> for the uh, for the midway giveaway, Aaron, you're somewhere listening, and, and a shout out to Aaron. I'm sure he's listening. With that said, five one zero three three one nine one one two is the number you can text. You can also you can also comment in the thread wherever the thread is to win. What celebrity performed at Castro Valley High School gym? in 1965 this is an a-list person who perform who performed at castro valley high school and don is guessing the answer is cheese <laughs> and ross says live oak island these are all answers from from past ones i love you guys you guys are amazing so the first person to answer correct via text or comment in the on the thread what celebrity performed at castro valley high school gym in 1965 this is this is an a-list person uh maureen says kurt burton i think kurt burton was a photographer uh 
Mark, good guess. Carlos Santana. All oh, these guesses are awesome. Mark, yes. Uh, Mark, yes. Uh, Carlos Santana. Maureen is guessing Cliff Burton. No. Uh, Michael guests Bob Saget. <laughs> um, David, David, welcome to the show. David's got an awesome guess. Uh, guessing CCR from El Cerrito. No, I love I, th these are the best guesses in the world. Um, I give you the question one more time. What celebrity A list above A list? This is upper echelon entertainment here. Uh, what celebrity performed at Castro Valley High School gym in 1965? Before my time, I only know this because uh, uh, Don says Don has a good guess. Jimi Hendrix, no, C close. No, not close. Again, you have to text 510-331-9112 or post your answer in the comments wherever the comment thread is. I don't know. Bob uh, Ross has a good... Uh, Don has a great guess. Jefferson Airplane, no. Ross is guessing Janis Joplin. <laughs> Bob says... Kimberly is in the house. Welcome to the show, Kimberly. Welcome back. Bob says, someone older than me. Uh, Michael is guessing George Strait. Uh, Eileen is guessing Michael Jackson. I don't know if Michael Jackson was born in 1965. Mark is guessing Grateful Dead. No. Uh, this is a this is a definite A-lister. What celebrity performed in the Castro Valley High gym in 1965? Hello, Kimberly. Welcome back. Uh, Don is guessing Chris Christopherson. No, sir. Welcome back to the show, Kimberly. I'm glad you can join us. What celebrity performed at Castro Valley? The guesses are awesome. I love this. Ross is guessing Joe Cocker. No. Michael is guessing MC Hammer. No. Uh, to um, Gary is guessing Tony Bennett. That would have been awesome. Gary, you are in the neighborhood of this person. You are in the vicinity. Uh, Maureen is guessing the Beach Boys. No. We're going to mention every musical act imaginable. I was amazed when I heard that this person performed at Castro Valley High in 1965. What is the name of this celebrity? Maureen is guessing Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney performing at Castro Valley High. Uh, D Don is guessing Dave Brubeck. Dave, uh, uh, Don is closer to that neighborhood. Um, Mark is guessing Tom Jones. No. Uh, Maureen is guessing John Lennon. No. Dean uh, Gary says Dean Martin. Very close. Don is guessing Frank Sinatra. Closer. Uh, Gary Gary and Don are, are, are two doors down from the answer. Um, Mark guessed Tom Jones. Kind of close. Bob. Bob is this far from the answer with his guess of Ray Charles. Super, 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 super close. Bob, Don, and Gary are... Bob is the winner, 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 chicken dinner. Uh, the correct answer is Louis Armstrong, Louis Armstrong. In 1965, Louis Armstrong, Satchmo, performed in the Castro Valley High Gym in 1965. The 7.30 p.m. performance was sponsored by the CV... HS student body to raise funds for the creation of a senior lawn and patio on the school grounds. Congratulations, Bob. Right on. Uh, Bob, I say this every time you win. Uh, text me or send me your address because I, I forget it. But congratulations, Bob. Bob has $20 to Portales and uh, a virtual world of deliciousness is waiting for you at Portales, Bob. Congratulations, Bob. And in addition to that, Bob, I'm going to send you one of these beautiful, snazzy, vinyl Castro Valley News stickers. While I'm on the topic, uh, everybody is saying congratulations to Bob. Uh, Dennis says, woohoo, Bob. Mark says, kudos to Bob. Gina says, wow. Um... Don says, yay, Bob. Maureen says, go, Bob. David had a great guess of Buddy Holly. Carla had a great guess of Sammy Davis Jr. I think 
Aaron takes uh, the best guess goes to Aaron Rick James in <laughs> 1965. Did you guys know that Rick James and Jimi Hendrix were in a band together like a bazillion years ago? Anyways, I just found that out. Uh, Bob, text me or send me your address again. I apologize, I've forgotten it again. Um, and I will send you uh, the $20 gift certificate to Portales. In addition to the snazzy, fancy, wonderful vinyl Casarelli News Live sticker. Bob is asserting that Bob cheated tonight. No, I think Bob got it fair and square. Bob got that one fair and square. Congratulations. Uh, (laughs) Hank's in the house. Bob says he's going to go to Don's to buy a Louis Armstrong record. There you go. How you doing? Gene says, congratulations, Bob. There you go. And if you are listening and you want one of these uh, snazzy Castrovelli News Live uh, vinyl stickers, send me an inbox message and I'll send you one for free. Just send me your address, postage, and wonderfulness on me. Gary says, hi, Hank. Hi, Hank. I was making noise, so I woke him up. Mark says, Hank is chilling. Yep, he's going to go get some water. How you doing? This guy, this guy's the most handsome dog in the world. I can't stop looking at you. I can't stop. You're just hand. He just winked at me. He did one of these. He did. Yeah. I'm good looking. I'm good looking, dad. You know. Um, So while I'm, while we're on the topic of dogs, guys, if you're looking for a dog, go get a shelter dog. They are amazing. So we did the midway giveaway. Congratulations to Bob and another heartfelt thank you to Jose Cervantes for sponsoring the Midway giveaway. I am going to do this intermittently during shows because I think more people need to be aware of this book. I love this book. Uh, Bob says, Louis Armstrong is older than I am. (laughs) Uh, Yes, uh, we have window clings to share as well. I will send some of those out as well. Uh, Don says, give Hank a snack. He just cruised over to the other couch. He'll get he'll get a treat after he'll get a post show treat, as will I, which will be giving him a hug. Guys, I want you to know about this book because this book is awesome. This book is amazing. This is not a new book. Uh, Let me see what year this came out. 2005. This is not a new book, but I suggest and I definitely recommend that you purchase one. This is the Castor Valley History book by our own historian, Lucille Lorge. And I was lucky enough to have one... (laughs) I actually found this at a secondhand store for a couple bucks and it was autographed. But this is the second copy that I have. Uh, Don is asking me to flick the book. So (laughs) Don says, flick the book. I love you, Don. This book is amazing. This is not a paid ad for this book. This is just a great, great book. It is chock full of local history that our historian Lucille Lorge has gathered and put together and presented in a beautiful, beautiful edition. Um, Check out this old photo of, wait, wrong side. Look at this old photo of the Valley Inn back in the day. And there's there's just, this book is so awesome. Um, My mom has read this book numerous times. Um, I have looked at this book numerous times. Um, There you go. Our moderator just found the link to Arcadia Publishing which are the wonderful folks who published this book with Lucille Lorge. Um, I misspoke a few episodes back because I was talking about this. Uh, The book is 1999. It's uh, Maureen at the Sports Desk Warriors win 111-107. There you go. But guys, definitely it's 20 bucks to have, um, how many pages are in here? 128 pages of awesome awesome stuff. Bob says Lucille's book is available at Walgreens. There you go. Um, what I like and what my mom mentioned is uh, Lucille ended her book 
with the infamous Castor Valley Pickle, the welcome sign. Um, it's only 20 bucks. You're supporting our local historian. This, and, and also my mom said to mention, hi mom, I love you. My mom also mentioned, wanted me to mention, if you really want to leg up during the Midway giveaway, a lot of the Midway giveaway answers come from this book. This is a great book, guys. If you live in Castor Valley, if you have lived in Castor Valley, if you have friends who live in Castor Valley, this book is the gift that keeps on giving. And this is not a paid ad. I just, I love this book. There's, there's, there's also different um, locations in this series. There's one for Hayward. There's one for San Leandro. The Arcadia Publishing folks do all the historical stuff for um, for locals who like to read about their local history, and I'm I'm probably spent more time than I should have on this book, but I just wanted to I wanted to let you know if you like Castro Valley like I do, this book is invaluable when it comes to local history, and it's just there's so much cool stuff in here, and I wanted to also take a chance take this moment to thank Lucille for being so generous with everything that she knows about Castor Valley. She sends me some of her memories and I read them during the show. She's busy. And um, thank you so much, Lucille, for just being amazing. So again, it's Arcadia Publishing. You can probably find this book at Books on B. I'm sure she has copies of this at Books on B, the wonderful bookstore on B Street. Uh, Renee Reddick is awesome. She's an independent bookseller. She worked at um, the bookstore across the street for tons and tons of years. When they closed, she moved across the street. And um, pick one up. It's 20 bucks. You will not regret spending on a book. And just in general... Uh, David says he has one for El Cerrito. Nice books. They are. Every every edition that I've seen in this series, they're just top notch. And they're just, they're worth their weight in gold for uh, historical um, information. And uh, Don says he loves Renee. I love Renee too. I've known her for tons of years uh, going back to uh, the, the bookstore. And uh, so there you go. That's that. We mentioned Lucille's book. Number five on the list here is Mom's Critiques from Tuesday's show. Hi, Mom again. Hi again, Mom. Hi, Mom again. Hi again, Mom. Uh, Mom's Critiques from last Tuesday's show. Uh, thank you. Don is tagging also, uh, just tagged Renee twice. Michael says, we have some books that say Amador County and maybe other books as well. Michael, it's just super cool to learn about where you live. And the history of where you live, it's, it's just a cool thing. And we're so lucky that there are people like Lucille who take the time to share their knowledge so that it's, it's, um, it's preserved for everyone to share. Moderator just posted uh, a link to Books on B. And yes, they stock all the best stuff. And, and Renee is awesome. Uh, Don said hello to mom. Uh, Gary says hi, Roberto's mom. Hi again, mom. Hi, mom again. I love you. Mom's critiques. From Tuesday's show, Mom says, It is great to hear all of the acknowledgments of the advertisers. It makes her want to shop local with them more often. Um, and just to shop local in general, because you know, you guys know I, uh, I, I harp, I, I dwell. I get on my soapbox when it comes to shopping local because it's so important. I'm not going to do that tonight because I do it far too often. But I agree with my mom. She's a wise, 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 wise woman. Yes, shopping local is super important. And uh, she loves hearing the acknowledgement of the advertisers. Uh, whenever a magazine comes out, I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to give some shout outs to the people who support the magazine because they're people who... They've got skin in the game. They've got dogs in the fight. They've got races in, they've got horses in the race. Races in the horse. That's a good one, Robert. Um, they've got horses in the race. They're our neighbors. Shop local. It's so important. Uh, with that said, mom's second critique is she hopes more advertisers sponsor the show for the great exposure. 
Thank you, Mom. I agree. And again, if you are a business owner and you would like to sponsor the Midway giveaway, send me an inbox, text me, whatever means, email, send me a letter, carrier pigeon, whatever is comfortable for you. You can sponsor the Midway giveaway. I purchase the gift certificates to the businesses because it's something that I love to do. I love shopping local. I love spending money at our local businesses. But um, you can sponsor the Midway giveaway. Um, there is a charge for that. Send me an inbox or call me or text me, whatever's comfortable for you. If you sponsor the Midway giveaway, you can suggest which business you would like to be featured for the gift card, the gift way. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Gary says uh, the Midway giveaway was Pete's uh, hardware. Yes, it was. That went to Christy. Congratulations again, Christy. Uh, Don says, shout out to Cat Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps next door to One Bad Apple Records. Um, Ross says, the checklist, will it float? Um, I'm not sure. Will, will the list float? Probably, unless I crumple it up. Um, Don says, mother knows best. I agree. Um, with that said, there's five minutes of show left. There was one last thing that I wanted to mention. Uh, was out and about earlier in the week. And I'm going to step on my soapbox here and now. Uh, was crossing the street from the village across Santa Maria to um, head to the post office. So right across the street is where the cuttery was. Um, there's uh, body mechanics in there too. As I was crossing the street, I saw a car coming from um, the boulevard fast. And I was already in the crosswalk. So I wasn't jumping in front of this car. I wasn't doing any, any shenanigans to... Um, Gary is asking, what is your contact number to text? 510-331-9112. If you are a business owner and you would like to sponsor the Midway Giveaway, 510-331-9112. Text me your information, what business you own. I would love to meet you, see what you're looking, see what you do, see what kind of exposure you would like for your business, and we can make something happen for you. Thank you, Gary. I did not mention that. 510-331-9112. Nine one one two. So I'm crossing the street, going from the village to the post office, and I was already maybe three strides in the street, maybe two, and this car is just speeding in the intersection, and I had to. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Barbara says shenanigans is the two dollar word for the night. I will accept that. That is a good word. Shenanigans is a great word. Shenanigans is actually uh, dawn words. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, Gary's looking for a window clean. I will send you one. Uh, and in addition to that, Gary, I will send you a window clean and a sticker for you. To put where you, uh, Bob says, my advice about crossing at Santa Maria to cross somewhere else. Good advice, Bob, because like I said, I was two or three strides in the crosswalk already. This car had just made the turn and was flying. It, he was qualifying for NASCAR. And I had to, good evening, Ronald. Ronald is in the house. Ronald is at the sports desk as well. He says, North Cal Carolina beat Duke. There you go. Ronald, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful evening. Castro Valley sends all our love to you, Ronald. So uh, may crossing the crosswalk. Yes, this person just sped up. Um, darn near hit me. So I basically had to run to the other side of the road. As I got there, um, Tiara says, today I went to a great barber called Tyler's. They are across the street from Pete's in Castor Valley. And I told the owner I would give him a shout out for his kindness and letting my boyfriend get a walk-in without an appointment, and they did a great job. Highly recommend. So that's Tyler's Barber Barbershop across from Pete's Hardware. 
uh, rocking and rolling, treating people good. There you go. Tyler's congratulations. And thank you for being awesome in the community. Uh, so there you go. I just, I just wanted to say something, man. And, and like Bob said, if you're going to cr- be in that crosswalk, find a different one to be in. I guess from here on out, I'll inconvenience myself and go to the crosswalk that is protected with the light. But I don't, I don't want to have to do that. Um, some drivers can just, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Um, anyways, I got to the other side of the street. There was a gentleman there who was with some sort of service agency. Um, and he had, a, he had a van, he had a, he had an outfit. I think it was like a, um, uh, I think it was a, a paper shredding company or something. And he goes, he goes, dude, that car almost hit you. And I just, I mean, my reaction is just, it's, it's a strange world. <laughs> But guys, be mindful of people in the crosswalks. Uh, could be your your sister, could be your neighbor, could be your cousin. Cousin could be my neighbor, my sister, my cousin. Um, we just need to do, to, to do a little better job of driving carefully. Also, I see people getting cut off left and right uh, near the farmer's market today. Um, it, it, it's wild out there. People are you can't possibly be in that much of a hurry on a Saturday morning (laughs) guys, but we all know there's a lot of creative driving happening out there. And, um, with that said, guys, that's an hour. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. Juliana says you should be able to cross at any crosswalk. People have been driving fast lately on the boulevard. I noticed as well. I've been seeing it on the boulevard too. I've been seeing it on Redwood road. I've been seeing it on seven Hills. I've been seeing it on, um center i've seen it on higher people are just flying all over the place michael says i've been hitting the crosswalks here in amador county michael i am glad that you are not seriously injured and also i hope you heal immediately from the injury picking up your toolbox best wishes to you michael i love you my friend with that said That is show 118. I'm going to crumple it up. Give it a little bit of that. It's still in the frame. There you go. It's right there. Guys, you are awesome. Thank you for uh, joining the show week in, week out. And um, yes, we do this Tuesdays and Saturdays, 7 to 8 p.m. So I will see everyone in the Castro Valley News live family Tuesday night at seven guys be good to yourselves be good to each other and as always when the going gets weird the weird turn pro I need to go way over here to give Hank a kiss so you guys take care